Sam Olver to get us underway. In the, dare I say it, sunshine here at Ealing Trail Finders. And that is a confident take. I actually have to dig out the shoes today as well. They've been uh, hiding for about a year or so. Flip-flops and boots all year so far. But uh, Matt Smith, again, this uh, Doncaster Knights liner absolutely purring. And this drive purring too. Matt Challoner on his final away game in a Doncaster Knights jersey opens the scoring for the visitors. And it's Knights 5, Trailfinders nil. And that kick takes him to 61. There's a few actually. They've got Billy McBride, Kyle Evans, Connor Edwards, Jack Davis as well. Doncaster Knights piling forward. Sam Graham. Win really in their sails here. And Ealing Trailfinders haven't had a touch and find themselves defending their half again. Connor Edwards. Makes no mistake. Healing Trail Finders nil. Doncaster Knights 10. Eight. Bit of ball in hand for Trail Finders for the first time, but Doncaster Knights started with so much energy. You wonder if they can keep this up for 80 minutes. Trail Finders, of course, come on so strong in the second half. That ball's gone backwards. Johnston picks up the scraps now. Good quick ball and Beaujoli. Oh, breakthrough there by Guy Thompson. Hits a great line and steps the full back. And Thompson with Trailfinders' first attack scores a stunning solo effort. So Johnston, the captain, is on kicking duty. Splits the uprights. Game on. Trailfinders 10 at Doncaster Knights 7. He looks fast as well today. Yeah, he's, he's fast every day, I think. Trail finders, five metres short. They've not found themselves in this position in this match yet. In go the centres, in go the fullback. They're fully committed and they're closing in on the second try. Trail, Trail finders, 12, Doncaster Knights, 10. This has been a cracking game of rugby. And a great conversion. They are very much having a job to do at the other end of the pitch right now. Davis takes it. In comes the drive. Will Holling has it at the back, creeping its way towards the try line, but still three, four metres to go. The trail finders take that down legally, so the first wave defended, but Doncaster Knights still come. Comrade Cade. Here's Olver, delays the pass and sends Will Holling through. Oh, the young hooker gets the reward his performance has deserved and puts Doncaster Knights back ahead. Gets dealt with, Craig Hampson getting the penalty advantage and Johnson juggles with it but gathers it nonetheless. Oh, massive shot, these collisions in midfield are enormous. Will Holling again. He's done so much, he's going to need some aspirin tomorrow. Body's going to be in bits. Oh, Bodily rides the tackle, creates the two-on-one. And Dean Hammond gets his first try in Trailfinders colours. It's a player down on their haunches at the moment. I can't tell who that is as the conversion goes up. The conversion is successful. This one's... Well, there was, the, there was the try earlier in the season where he gathered his own chip and then Cy Linsel gave the most outrageous one-handed dummy. Either way, Bobby DeVee, ball in hand, trail finders, chasing the bonus point that could end Doncaster Knight's playoff dream. And they do so in powerful fashion. 14. How will these changes in the scrum affect the scrum? Oh, they're going to be allowed to use it. And Olver's rolled the dice, and I'm not sure how smart that dice roll was. Kernahan 
finds David Johnston and the skipper gets try number five. And as we wait for this conversion, which is successful, so 33-15. He's really stepped up during the week and as well as in the game, bagged himself a couple of tries. Um, for me, the, the two and eight for Doncaster is a, is a Volti and Holing. Holing, yeah, Volti and Holing as Linsel crashes towards the 22. And here is Johnson. Oh, what a line that is from Luke Daniels, scything through. He's only been on the pitch 10 seconds. And thank you for your company at home as well. Not just today, but throughout this season. There is lots to look forward to for both of these clubs. Doncaster Knights with a massive future long term. Maybe Ealing Trail.